हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वकास गेमिंग फोर्टनाइट रिसेंटली रिलीज्ड अ न्यू स्टेटमेंट दैट यूजिंग की रिमैपर्स फॉर डबल मूवमेंट ऑन माउस एंड कीबोर्ड इज अलाउड इन द फोर्टनाइट डबल मूवमेंट इज बेसिकली द कंट्रोलर मूवमेंट ऑन द माउस एंड कीबोर्ड वन ऑफ द प्रो प्लेयर बेंजी फिशी कंफर्म दैट डबल मूवमेंट इज अलाउड इन द फोर्टनाइट बेसिकली द की रिमैपर्स आर द थर्ड पार्टी सॉफ्टवेयर व्हिच अलाउज द प्लेयर टू रीकॉन्फिगर द की बाइंड्स which are not possible inside the game and also it is not bannable while using macros is bannable macros allows the player to perform multiple tasks on the one click which are not allowed in the fortnite further in this video i will show you the best software and settings for the double movement this movement is important because it allows you to change the direction quickly and making it difficult for the opponent to track you and he misses more shots This is why keys to x input is the best free software to use. So let's set up the keys to x input software for the double movement. First of all, you have to download the virtual game card setup. The link is given in the description. Click on the first link, you will be redirected to this page. Scroll down and click on the VGM bus setup x64 MSI. It will automatically download the setup. After downloading, open it. accept the agreement and install after installing this you will have to install keys to x input setup the link is given in the description below when you click on the link you will have this page either you download from the google drive or you download from the mega i will download it from the mega it will redirect you to the mega and click on the download After completing the download, open the setup. If you get the window protection message, just click on more info and then click on run anyway. You will be able to run the keys to x input software. Agree to the terms and install. Now open keys to x input. Go to select profile and click on create profile. Ignore the values and click on OK. Name your profile. Let's say Fortnite. Click on save. It will redirect you to the profile settings on your right. Bind your movement keys. After that, enable the modifier. Set the modifier as your sprint, walk, bind. Under options, select controller type as X360. Keyboard capture as raw input and SOCD as SIP. SOCD is what happen when you press the left and right key at the same time. There are two options in the SOCD, the neutral and the SIP. The neutral means you will not go left or right when you hold both keys at the same time, while SIP means you will move in whichever direction you press the last. So this is the option we have to select. After that click on save. Now we have to configure the movement angles to get the double movement effect in the game. The first one is diagonal up which means the movement in the angle while moving forward and pressing the right or left key with it. We will set this value up to 60 degree angle to get the zigzag movement in the game. The second one is strafe which means the movement in angle while holding the right or left key. The Fortnite allows the maximum value up to 76.11 degree. to get the right or left controller movement the third one is diagonal down for the backward movement while holding the right or left and the fourth one is speed you don't have to configure all the values yourself just copy all the values from the description from the left to the mode speed right down copy all the values from the description of the video then go back to the software and go to advanced find the left thumb stick heading just scroll down and find 
the left scroll down select from left to mode speed right down above the right thumbstick option and replace it with the values you have copied from the video description by pressing the control V then click on save then go to the profile settings you will see that your values have been changed and these are the best recommended values the first three values are same in the normal and modifier option but there is a difference in the speed in the normal the speed is 100% in the modifier the speed is 94% I will explain you why when you enable the modifier option you have to bind the modifier key of your own wish the modifier helps in slow crouch walking when you crouch in the game and hold your modifier bind the crouch walking will be slower than usual I will show you in the video the default crouch walking speed in the fortnite is 50% and there is no difference in the sound of the crouch walking below the 95% that's why in modifier we have selected the 94% so these are all the settings you have to perform in the keys to x input now the final settings are in the game then you are ready to enjoy the double movement now let's jump into the game in the fortnite go to settings go to keybind setting and unbind the movement keys and sprint keys After that go to mouse and keyboard setting and switch off the ignore gamepad input and turn on the lock input method as mouse then click on apply. These are the settings you have to do in game and you are ready to enjoy the double movement. One more thing if it seems difficult for you to set up the keys to X input like I did all the changes in the advanced and in the options if you don't want to do it by yourself I have saved all the configuration in this file i will upload it and provide the link in the video description download this configuration from the link after that go to your keys to x input software and click on select profile and there click on the import profile and import the profile which you have downloaded from the link it will add up to your keys to x input and you are ready to enjoy the double movement in game just make sure you have to perform the settings in the game by unbinding your movement and sprint keys and mouse and keyboard settings like I did before in the video. You can set up your own modifier key if you want to change. Whenever you want to use the double movement, just open keys to X input and open your game and you are ready to go. If you don't like the double movement, just go to your settings and bind your keys back and don't run the keys to x input software that's all if you have any question leave in the comment section like and share this video subscribe to this channel take care bye